If you are on my Instagram, I shared how our refrigerator was on the brinks and I've been shopping to find the right fridge. I happened to find the right fridge I've always wanted at the price I was willing to pay for. I partnered up with ShopTagger. It's a free app and website that you could add to your browser. And it's my go-to when I'm looking for something very pricey like our refrigerator. And ShopTagger came in so handy for all of our appliances because our dishwasher broke too. You can download the shop tagger button and you can have it in your browser. It also allows you to go to the website and shop for anything that you're looking for. And I jumped on the Best Buy website and came across this amazing deal on this fridge. But you can also shop for not only appliances, you can also shop for shoes, clothes, handbags, and you can save items from over 2,500 retail stores. Using ShopTagger is really simple. Just click on the item and there's a drop down button that you can use to see if there's any price changes. You can also click if you want to be notified if the price drops or change to 25 or 50% off. And you can also organize your items into categories called my list. I created a list to keep me organized and I can refer back to my list when I need to. Give ShopTagger a try, you guys. You will not regret it. I will provide a link down below to ShopTagger. After finding my dream fridge and dishwasher, there were a few hiccups along the way and if you guys are following me on Instagram and my stories, I shared all of that with you. Although this fridge looks fine, but there's an issue that I didn't take into account. This fridge isn't countertop depth and the Hubster felt it was way too small, which I was fine with because we have another fridge and freezer in our garage. But what I loved most about this fridge was the door and door feature. When you tap on the door, you can quickly see what's inside and the ice and the water feature was simple and very easy to use. Our replacement was the Samsung Family Hub that does pretty much everything your iPhone does with the exception of a few less features like it doesn't take pictures but you can load pictures onto it and if you can use your iPhone you will have no issues using the Family Hub. This fridge is loaded with so many things. I'm just going to share a few things that I'm currently using. I've scheduled my videos. It will remind me to post my videos or IG pictures and I can even view what's inside my fridge without even opening the door. Even if I'm away from home, I can see what's inside the fridge which really comes in handy if I forget what we have on hand. The Samsung Family Hub has the capabilities to pair with a Samsung TV. Yes, you can even watch TV on it. And then there's Bigsby. Hi Bigsby, what's the weather today? Tuesday looks like it will be a cloudy day with a high of 34. He is a virtual assistant that's voice powered and it will keep you in the know. They also sent us the wrong color dishwasher, which has been replaced and installed, so we're all good. On to some fridge organization. On the door, I just have condiments and coffee creamer, and I haven't gone shopping on this day, that's why the fridge is looking a little bare. I'm using a wine rack on the top shelf, and I have a produce keeper that I will share in a bit. I've shared uh, these beverage containers before. Like I said, this fridge is a little tight, so I'm using these containers because they are slim. My fridge is all prepped so when I get home from the grocery store, all I have to do is place my groceries inside. These two trays are for specialty cheeses when we entertain and the meat tray is for thawing out meats that I will be cooking for that day. My egg keepers you have seen before in my previous fridge organization video and they are from TJ Maxx and I keep brown eggs on hand for baking and white eggs for breakfast and other recipes. I don't have much in my veggie and boot drawer but I do love that there's a light for easy viewing. Inside this drawer I lined it with shelf liner and I love using this to protect my drawers and it also helps with keeping my organizing trays from moving around while opening and closing the drawer and it also helps to protect the glass inside your fridge. On the inner design fridge bins, they have helpful information on the back of the label to let you know if this tray will work in your fridge. I created a lunch tray for meats and cheeses and snacks because we are snackers and a designated tray for butter and this little area for bag cheeses and biscuits.
new fridge, new food prep hacks, and organizational solutions that will save you time, money, and space in the kitchen. And over the holidays, I came across this 4-in-1 veggie onion cheese chopper, and all I can say is, where has this been all of my life? Home Goods have a wonderful chopper for only $12.99. Mine's a different brand, but it does the same job. No more cutting, chopping, and trust me, you guys, this will be the best $13 you will ever spend on a kitchen gadget. It has interchangeable stainless steel blades for slicing and dicing and chopping, and it even chops potatoes. And with the swift closing of the lid, no more crying over onions, and it even works as a storage container. Speaking of containers, I came across these nice affordable airtight containers from Target in different sizes and prices. They are slim which is great for storing items in the fridge and they are stackable. It will save you a ton of room. This is my kitchen planner that I keep in our pantry and inside I keep kitchen labels and notepads to keep me organized. I think we all can relate to this problem of when we buy fresh fruits and vegetables, but we cannot rely on them staying fresh. Well, now you can keep your produce fresh and longer by 80% by using this Freshworks Produce Saver by Rubbermaid. Walmart has a six-piece set plus two bonus pieces for $22, and Target sells them by the pieces. And as you can see, it's not cheap. Walmart has the better deal. The idea is not to wash or food prep. Just remove it from its original packaging and place it inside the produce saver. This grate on the bottom lets any moisture to drain out so your produce isn't sitting in slime and everything is dishwasher safe. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I share tons of home tips, recipes, and new finds over there that I don't share here. So be sure to follow me at Be My Guest with Denise. And I want to thank you all for watching.